What is going on everybody in today's video is going to be a little bit different We've done this on the channel twice before with Foo Fighters and Kiss and it was phenomenal to do for you guys and The band today that we're going to be focusing on is Slipknot The reason we're going to be talking about them today is because I'm going to be going to see them on Wednesday in concert for the first time I've been a huge fan of them for about 15 years and I am freaking stoked I talked about them on the channel a little bit before I actually posted a live cover of duality that I did about a month ago or so if you guys want to go check that out I will leave that down in the description down below I've been talking about Slipknot I've been counting down the show really on Instagram Facebook Twitter my social media handles snapchat you know all that fun stuff um, I've been counting down to the show for the last you know, few days so if you guys have been following me on there or if you haven't followed me on there I will leave links to those as well down in the description you want to follow me on other handles and if you guys also would also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that like button for the algorithm and hit that notification bell so you guys know when videos just like this are popping up as well and don't worry reaction Wednesday will still be happening even though I'll be at the show Wednesday I already have a video lined up and if you guys want to guess what song I'm doing then leave a comment down below I'll give you a little hint it's a band that I've talked about on the channel a lot and I really like a lot. They're not Slipknot. It's not Slipknot. And they just released a new song just the other day. The video from last Wednesday, my latest installment with Nightwish, has been doing very well. So I thank you guys a lot for that. And if you would like to see that video, well, it's on the channel here. It's very, very recent. So shouldn't be too hard to find. All right, guys. So without a further ado, we're going to move on to the tier ranking list. All right, everybody. So the ranking list is pretty straightforward. Um, if I don't know them, well, they're going to just simply go into don't know them. And this is if I don't like them more than Slipknot, and this is if I like them more than Slipknot. And then, of course, all Medi Slipknot's already in their own freaking tier. So, we got ACDC up first, and it looks like this is actually in alphabetical order. That's pretty interesting. So, who took the time to do that? Hey, that's fucking cool. ACDC, uh, I definitely wouldn't. I enjoy them, but no. And what the hell is this next band? I'm going to have to lean in. I was like, oh, it's Eyes Like Dying. Oh, they're a really, really, really awesome band. I did see them live in Philly, funny enough. That's where I'm going to see Slipknot. Um, just not at the same venue. I saw them at the Electric Factory. Asking Alexandria. Is Asking Alexandria on here? I don't think they are. But I would not, but they are really good. Airborne, no. I did see them live one time, actually, in 2010. Really good. Actually, with Stone Sour, too, funny enough. On a festival, I think it was called, uh, fuck, what was it? Uproar Festival, 2010. I can't read that logo, so I'm going to put that in Don't Know Them. Anthrax, really good band, no. Optolipica, I think that's how you say that, I don't know. Um... No, but they're really good. And they did a song with Corey Taylor, which was really cool. Arch Enemy, again, solid band, but no, we're getting a lot of no's. Um, this might be very, very uninteresting. Evanstia? I, pfft, I never heard of them. Avatar, very, very good band. They were a band I actually seen live with a skit, The Fate. I never heard of them before they came out with their theatrical, you know, makeup and all that fun stuff. And they sounded awesome. Big fan. I've seen them live twice, but no, I still would not. Venge Sevenfold. Okay, we have our first yes. As you guys know, I might like them a little bit. And I've been doing uh, album tier ranking lists of them here and there. Eventually, I get around to each individual album. Anywho, Breaking Benjamin, I do like them, but I would not. Black Sabbath. Oh, this might be a close one here. But I have to go with Slipknot, even though I do like Black Sabbath. I can't even read that, so no. Bringing Me the Horizon, okay, very, very, very fucking good band. I used to not like this band whatsoever, but ever since I released Sepulternal, I have been a fan, and they just keep getting better and better. And I did see them live on Warp Tour in 2013, fantastic show. Um, I still wouldn't, but it's very close. Bullet for a Valentine, okay, this is the second band that's going to be a yes, and I've seen this band three or four times, actually in Philadelphia at the aforementioned Electric Factory, they played with Escape to Fate at the Electric Factory, but not with Eyes Light Dying. And I love Bullet Fred Valentine. If you guys have been following me on any of my social media, you guys would freaking know that. Cradle of Filth, I enjoy them a little bit, but no, definitely would not. 
it was actually a funny story. I didn't get to meet Danny Filth, the vocalist, but I saw him at Venice Beach when I lived in California once, and that was fucking cool. Def Leppard. Oh, okay. A band I really, really enjoy, and I have seen live again. Uh, I saw them only 20 minutes away. Well, actually, no. It's actually 10 minutes away from me now. Where I originally grew up, it was about 20 minutes away in Hershey. And they were phenomenal, but still no. Demir Borger. Um, I've heard of them. They are very talented. I never got really into them. I haven't really given them a fair listen, so no, obviously not. I like that logo a lot. Oh, oh, that's Disturbed. Um, they're actually, funny enough, they're another band I saw on Uproar Fest in 2010 with Airborne and Avenged Sevenfold and uh, Stone Sour. Uh, I do really, really like Disturbed, but no, still. Dreams Theater, I only really like Panic Attack. So no, Evanescence, good. They have a few songs I like, but no. Fight Terror, Death Punch, no, but I do enjoy their older stuff. The way the Fist album is really good. That's about it. Various songs since then have been okay. Seen them live twice on Mayhem Fest, and they were phenomenal live. And actually, I got to see them a third time at Rock on the Rage in 2014, which Avatar was also on, and I think there's countless other bands on here that are also on here, like Avenged Sevenfold and Guns N' Roses which we'll talk about in a moment. And Foo Fighters. I don't really consider them a metal band, but I do like them a lot. They're a rock band, in my opinion, but still no over Slipknot. Ghost, a very, very good band, and they're another one of those bands I really want to see live. And every time they come to my area, I miss them, just like Slipknot. But eventually, I will see them. Mark my words. Um, no, but I really fucking love them. Uh, Godsmack, a few good songs. Don't get me wrong, but no. Nope. I do know them. What the fuck? Don't go down. Gorgera, I actually seen them open for Slayer once. They were solid. Not really my thing. No. Guns N' Roses? Oh, this might be one of the closer ones yet. Um, Another Rock on the Rage band. I really, really love this band. I really love Appetite for Destruction. Oh, this one's close. Do I like Slipknot more? I, I think I like Slipknot by a little bit more. So, yeah, that was tough. And Guns N' Roses, I usually would take them over a lot of bands, but not Slipknot. Hailstorm, another upward 2010 band I seen. Not a metal band, hard rock band, very good band. And actually, they're from Redline, PA, which is about 40 minutes from where I'm sitting right now. No, but I really freaking love them. They're really good. Hollywood Dead, I really like them, um, but no. They might have actually got their mask idea from Slipknot. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. In Flames, a band I do enjoy. They're Swedish melodic death metal. But no. Iron Maiden, really love them. This is actually probably going to be a close one, too. Ooh, fucking hell. What do I do here? What do I do about this? I'd say they probably have influenced me more guitar-wise, but songwriting-wise, probably Slipknot more. So I'm going to go with Slipknot. I feel like they've had more of an impact than Iron Maiden has. And Iron Maiden is a big influence on me. Judas Priest... No, but I do really enjoy them. I did see Halford live on Ozfest in 2010, so that was cool. But it wasn't Judas Priest, technically. Killswitch Engage, another Rock on Rage band I seen in 2014. Really enjoy them, but no. Korn, I really, really, really love them. I saw them twice in 2010 on Mayhem Fest. I went twice that year for some reason. With Five Finger Death Punch. Wherever they're at, right there. Really enjoy them. Fucking phenomenal live. Really, really, really awesome band. Um... Actually, I should do more on this band on the channel. If you guys would like to see that, leave a comment down below. If you guys would like me to do more Korn stuff. Uh, but no. The Corner Coil, actually another Rock on the Range band I've seen. And they were fantastic. I like a few of their songs. But no. I Lamb of God, another Mayhem band I've seen in 2010. And really enjoy them again. But no. Uh, I really like this list, though. Whoever put this together is awesome. Um, Limp Biscuit, hell no. Lincoln Park. Oh, man, this might be a tough one, too. I have to go to Lincoln Park on this one. Just a slight. Just slightly. Not by much. Um, Man of War. No. Uh, I heard of them. Um, but no. Macedon. No. Very talented band. They're just one of those bands I think is super talented. I just can't get into them, really. Um, Megadeth. Really like them, but no. Metallica. Ooh, this is going to be a really tough one, too. Because I'm a really big Metallica fan. Metallica. Mm, or Slipknot. Wow, that's a good choice. And Metallica is actually, they're the number two bucket list band. Well, I guess Slipknot technically still is a bucket list band, but I know I'm going to see them, but I don't have Metallica lined up to go see them. Metallica is in the same boat as Slipknot because uh, 
Every time they come around, I just miss them, too. And, oh, uh, man. But, uh, no. Actually, I'll take Slipknot over Metallica. Guitar-wise, Metallica, for sure. But songwriting-wise, I'm more into Slipknot. Marilyn Manson, I enjoy him a little bit, but no, no. Motorhead, I'm not a big fan of. I like Ace of Spades, though. Nightwish, the band that I was just talking about in the intro that I did a reaction video to just recently, that the video is doing very well. Guys, go check that out. No. But they are good. Uh, Nirvana, good band. I really like their album with Smells Like Teen Spirit on it. Uh, never mind. Um, that's literally the name of the record. Uh, no, though. Pantera, very, very, very good band. And a band that probably very, very much influenced them. As well as Iron Maiden and Metallica and Megadeth. And probably a few others like ACDC. But um, no, but... They're really good. I like their Cowboys from Hell album. That's really good. And if you guys would like to see me do a tier ranking list on Cowboys from Hell, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will do it. Papa Roach. Ooh. It's going to be a no, but I love this band so much. They are so consistently good and phenomenal live. I saw them at the Chameleon Club. Rest in peace, Chameleon Club in Lancaster, PA here. Uh, about four or five. No, no. No, it was about probably six years ago now. Phenomenal live band is what I'm trying to say. Parkway Drive, I like a few songs, especially Unrest, but no. Ramstein, no, I do enjoy Du Haas, though. That's a cool song. It's Sepultra, I, I enjoy a few of their tracks, but no. Skid Row, I enjoy them quite a bit, but no. Slaughter to Prevail, talented band. I never got into them, though, so no. Slayer, no, definitely not. I used to be a really big fan of Slayer when I was in high school, but now I just can't really get into them as much. Not that I don't think that they still have some good tracks and good riffs in here and whatnot, but no, just no. Um, Santa Artica, they're a power metal band, I believe. I uh, never really got super into them, but I believe I probably could really get into them, but definitely no over Slipknot. Stone Sour, okay, this is where it gets kind of funny. Um, it's going to be a no, but, uh, Corey Taylor is the lead singer of Slipknot, and he's also the lead singer of Stone Sour, and Jim Root is the guitar player of Slipknot, and he was in Stone Sour for years, and he left or got kicked out a few years ago. Says some of a down, very good band, uh, but no. Three Days Grace, I wouldn't put them in metal, but I do enjoy them quite a bit, but there's, <laughs> no, not, not Slipknot, not on that level. Testament, good thrash metal band, but no... Tool, good progressive, I guess, rock metal band. I, I don't know where to categorize them as exactly, but they're good, but no. Trivium, very, very, very talented new wave American heavy metal, but no. Volbeat, good band from Denmark, but no. I don't know who that is, so that concludes the freaking list, guys. All right, everybody, so that was a lot of fun to do, and if you guys would like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below if this interests you. I mean, also know by liking this video as well, so it gets pushed out to more viewers and more metalheads just like yourselves and possible new metalheads who are looking for new material to listen to as well. And if you guys also haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. That really, really helps me out as well. And ring that notification bell so you guys are notified about more videos just like this as well. And leave more suggestions down in the comment section down below. Covers, other tier lists, reactions. And if you guys want me to react to your stuff, Feel free to send me a email as well. I'll leave that down in the description so you guys can send me some stuff. And I will see to it that your video or whatever audio file gets reacted to. And I do all kinds of different stuff. I specialize in rock and metal, but I'm open to other genres as well. And until next time, guys, I'm peacing out. And I cannot fucking wait to see Slipknot. <laughs>